back to a Simply Simple Life. I am here today to do a um, haul with you guys with Trader Joe's. I have not done one of these with you guys in forever and a day. So I do apologize. I know there's some of you in here that looks forward to the Trader Joe's haul. But um, it's like a staple for me. So it seems like I'm getting the same things over and over again. It's just replenishing my pantry or my freezer because it's um, items that we love and the brand that we love and the quality is just so amazing for the price so that's why i get these staples over at trader joe's right, so first off i do have the ones in the back are just the buns they're like 2.99 i saw them so i figured um it's a great time for the big kids to go outside and grill so that's what they're doing now grilling some burgers and some uh, sausages and some some chicken um, i love to grill chicken um, multi-pack ones so that i can refrigerate them and then the kids can add them on to like all of these meals that I have in here like the pre-packaged meals so that they can add fresh meat into them so I have the buns and then the hot dog and then this one hubby likes this one this is the cheese sticks cheddar Trader Joe's and then as far as like chips um I do like the organic elote corn chip dippers oh my gosh these are so 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 good so good okay and then these are the new items so every time i do a haul with you guys i do share like new items i try to pick up new things to try them out this one is my third purchase so they actually had four of these and i didn't want to be the person to just hug all of them so i left two and grabbed these these are the trader joe's ube mochi pancake and waffle mix oh my gosh these are so good so 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 good so i got two and left the other two for someone else um, but I got that one, so I've been gifting them actually because there's some um, friends or family that want them and they're not able to grab them at their Trader Joe's, so I usually buy a few of them and then get them out. And then of course, you guys know Danica loves these Hold the Cone and she loves the chocolate one. They also offer it in uh, vanilla, so she doesn't care so much for the vanilla, but the chocolate, I always have to grab two of them each time. I go to uh, Trader Joe's just to replenish. She has to have a backup. And then the salad mix. I love to get these. These are like $1.99. They have these one and then like the yellow uh, the yellow bag. And they're both $1.99. But they're perfect. Uh, perfect quantity to be able to just um, make a quick salad for the family or for the kids to open up a bag. And then with the grilled meat that I'm asking them to grill. Just this one. Pre-rinse it. And then add the meat. And then the... Uh, the dressing and they're good to go for for lunch that's why i always always have grilled meat available i have some organic uh, celery hearts this one um i wanted to pick this one up because i wanted to make egg uh, salad so i already have some fresh dills and i wanted to go ahead and make some egg salad to put on over chips or just a sandwich and then the kids, like I said, can easily grab them and make for lunch for themselves. And you guys know how much we love mandarin orange chicken. We actually still have about two in the freezer. So I grabbed two more because when we um, have the mandarin chicken, we have to have two bags because we are a family of six. They're roughly about four something. So for $8 and there is leftover, especially for the little one to have the next day over rice, that's really... Um, uh, beneficial for me because it's so hard to feed her and she loves orange chicken eight dollars or nine dollars can feed a family of six and some leftovers it's just amazing it's a great deal put this over freshly made rice um have this and then drizzle some sriracha perfect perfect meal okay you can't go wrong with that one and then i got some eggs because costco was closed today today is memorial day so I wanted to go to Costco because that's where I, buy, um, I get the brown eggs. Um, but this one I just grabbed uh, just one to be able to just last a few days until I can go to Costco. Okay, and then um, this one, pita chips, Parmesan garlic, and herb. That is also another favorite chips to go to. The other favorite chips they ran out today is the, um, is it the sour cream uh, popcorn? Puff popcorn. It's like $1.99 for a huge bag. They were out of that today, but that is also another favorite that the family has been loving. Okay, I had to grab some spaghetti noodles and then um, some of these, just like different kind of uh, noodle shapes because the, um, the kids do like to, I make them cook 
once in a while, like a couple times throughout the week. So this one, again, super easy for them to just boil. And then um, there's the, the sauces over here. And then again, like I said, the grilled meat. Some, sometimes the grilled meat, I'll chop it up, put it into a freezer bag and put it into the freezer so that when they're making this for themselves and I'm not home or I'm working or I'm editing videos, I don't have to stop what I'm doing to be able to just go ahead and cook for them. They can easily boil this. Even Danny, she's 12. She turned 12 yesterday. So she can easily just boil this, open that up, warm it up, and then add some chicken. And then she can feed herself Danica and the rest of the siblings. Super easy. Okay. And then for these ones, so I'm going to go ahead and grab this because I did go to the commissary as well. We try to do our life runs. We call them, hubby and I call them life runs because of this um, COVID-19, um, how we've been sheltering in place. My children has not gone to the store. Um, the girls have not gone to the store ever since uh, shelter in place happened. And then Jonathan is our 19 year old. He'll be 20 in a few, two or three months. He went one time with us to Target. He did not enjoy it. And that was just for me to show him this is our life now. Um, but the girls have not gone anywhere. So we try to do, hubby and I try to do our life runs like within the same week so that we can return home and then shelter in place again for another two weeks and then go back to the store to buy our main product. So we try to make um, a commissary run. Commissary is where I get my meat. Costco run is where I get bulk um, items and then Trader Joe's and then Target. So I bought a bunch of these um, slices over at the commissary. Um, this one, this is how we do this one. It's just I cut this in four pieces. These are just the, the slices. Cut them in four pieces. And then the, the square, the small square, I'll get that, wrap it, and then put it into a serving bowl along with some crackers and apples. I slice up the apples, and then we all have something to snack on uh, for the morning or uh, late morning or the afternoon. So great snack. So I bought those and that's why I have all these. It's just some deli and cheese to be able to go with it. This one as well and then this one. And then for this one actually sometimes I have like fresh, I did not grab a fresh pizza dough but sometimes I'll buy this one and then the kids can uh, make their own pizza with the Trader Joe's uh, pizza dough and then the pizza sauce and then some pepperoni and then of course the cheese, they're good to go. They can make their own pizza. Okay, I grabbed some organic broccoli florets and then some lightly salted edamame. This one is so easy. The girls love this. And then this one. Okay. I have been, <laughs> it's been a hot minute since I shared my Trader Joe's with you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try this one. Everything but the elote. Is it elote? El elote. Everything but the elote, right? Am I pronouncing that right? This one, if you grill fresh corn, okay, and I like mine kind of burnt um, brown, and then you, um, you smother it with uh, mayonnaise, the Best Foods mayonnaise, not the Kraft Miracle Whip. No, you don't ever use Kraft Miracle Whip in this house, but Best Foods, um, smother that all around the corn, sprinkle this generously oh my gosh you guys gotta try it it's so good so if you can't grab fresh corns i have tried this before i just put this into the the grill um grill it so then it has that nice grilled flavor to it even though it says already roasted and then i'll get mayonnaise and put it into like a ziploc bag and kind of drizzle on top and then this one sprinkle on top it's oh my gosh it's the same it's it's good as well okay Grab some meatballs. Again, easy access for the kids to be able to make um, like spaghetti for dinner. So this one really works out well because it's already pre-cooked. So it doesn't take them long to make the, the dinner for my 17-year-old and then the 19-year-old. Okay. And then Danielle loves these little teeny tiny avocado. Six count for I think $2.99. So I bought two of them because they go by really fast. Um, love those and I love the size of it as well it's a perfect size sometimes the avocados you buy them especially at Costco they're so huge that we tend to just eat half of that and split it between Danielle and I and then the other half because it's brown on the outside she won't touch it all right so like I said I got the 
um, pantry needs so always my black beans over at Trader Joe's got some kidney beans so black beans and kidney beans I have these for chili on the side black beans along with this one I'll go ahead and just like I said roast them but when I add this one it's just the corn itself but together I can add tomatoes onto them and then it's going to be a perfect side dish for um, other stuff that we have um, made for as far as like the meat and creating meals and then also this one the mushroom and herb risotto that is one of my go-to like risotto it's just in a box but it's pretty easy and it works really well so the kids like that alfredo sauce this one is simple like i said adding it to the pasta the kids love that all right so for this one the genova pesto um, sometimes we won't make enough meals to be able to have this last so I'll get half of it and put it into um, like little plastic containers and then put it into the freezer so that it will last longer but I use this as well to make the pizza so when I'm making a pizza when we buy fresh uh, pizza dough I'll get the the herb and chicken the herb um, Instead of like the plain pizza dough, there's an herb one. And then I'll add the pesto sauce and then the grilled chicken. Oh my gosh. So, 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 so good. Amazing. Okay, so got and that. And the and girls love the matcha green tea, the latte mix. You don't have to add anything to this. It's green tea along with like milk powder. So it's a great latte drink for them. I have been using the organic virgin coconut oil a lot as far as my cooking. So I have, um, over here I have the olive oil. So I've been alternating between coconut oil and olive oil as far as like cooking up some dishes. So it's really been working out when I don't have to, um, to use like the vegetable oil. Because there's some stuff that you can only use vegetable oil because it heats at a higher temperature. But when I don't need to have things, um, having to use the vegetable oil, I like to go to the coconut oil or the olive oil. Okay, I bought some salad dressings. Everybody's favorite. So sriracha ranch is hubby's favorite as well as this green dragon hot sauce and then the girls love the romano caesar dressing i like this one the red wine and olive oil vinaigrette and then jalapeno sauce for hubby they like that one i also uh, wanted to try out a new mango flavor black tea i've never seen this before so i think it's a brand new product and then pineapple juice pineapple juice we always have to have pineapple juice trader joe's is the only um place that i can find pineapple juice that's not in a can but that's actually into a refrigerated section into the carton so i don't know no no one else ever has it sometimes i have like a the pineapple mango pineapple orange but i really like just a plain pineapple because it works really well especially if you got vodka all right with that being said um i also got some cheese to go along with it some cheese and crackers and wine you know that works well and you guys know we have to have our Okay, we have to have our mac and cheese, and then this is the mac and cheese plain, and then this one is, um, I think, the pepperoni, so hubby got a couple of those. And then the Japanese, uh, we got this furikake sauce, I mean, furikake seasoning, the Japanese multi-purpose seasoning. Uh, really, I really like that, especially if you're making ramen, sprinkle that, and then you're good to go. We got Kerrygold butter, and then also the cream cheese. We got some caramel because I bought those because I wanted to show you guys over at Costco I picked this up when I went to Costco so I'm making um these are the almond flour and it's a big bag but I am making macarons for graduation so I'm gonna do the fillings with caramel and then this one I got this one the organic watermelon fruit spread so I'm gonna flavor one with uh, watermelon and then I got a fresh um, instant coffee because I'm making one filling to be like a espresso and then I got more honey because I was actually looking for this the organic raw honey we're all out we love that one into our teas but then this will work as well okay and then I got some baking powder and then um, some vanilla extract. I was running low. And oh, okay, I have been looking for this for like two years. So they stopped having this for a while. And then it just I just saw it today. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I miss this so much. So we got the I got more of the quick um, cook still cut oats. 
So I usually have that one for breakfast and then I'll have a peanut butter to mix along with it. But this is my favorite. So my Trader Joe's has not had this for such a long time. I don't know when it started coming back again, but I remember last year I kept going there and asking for it. They would never have like a date of when it was returning. So super glad that this one is back. Crunchy salted peanut butter with ground flax and chia seeds. And then, oh, I wanted to show you guys these products. Oh, I got two. I got two of these cactus. Um, they're like $1.99, so I'm just going to add it to my uh, current pot. All right, I went to Trader Joe's today specifically to buy this one, which is the aioli garlic mustard sauce. I'm running low on this one, and I wanted to make sure I have another one because I have been using this for my grilled chicken. So I get like chicken thighs or chicken breasts, um, and then I will put um, like some peppers onto it, and then some of the chicken, like the McCormick, Chi uh, chicken seasoning and this and then add some like chili flakes or um, I have some of the Trader Joe smoke uh, like I think it's smoked red pepper or smoked pepper so so good it's amazing so if you guys are looking for something to do like a rub a rub is more like a dry rub but this one I I seasoned this and I did not have enough time to be able to marinate it overnight because usually my marinade is overnight this one I only did it within like maybe 30 minutes and it's tasted amazing so I really really like this one this is again like the aioli garlic and mustard sauce okay so I wanted to share with you guys my favorite um, beauty products over at Trader Joe's these are the top three of my beauty products okay the rose water facial toner i'm out of this one almost out so i had to grab this one they're like 3.99 but it's amazing especially if you live in a climate um where it's always like dry humid um hot it's always nice to have this into your purse. Like when I used to live in California, I would have loved to have discovered this product if they had it then because it's just, it mists into your face and then it's just refreshing. So it's just a very refreshing uh, facial toner. So I really, really like this one. Hydrate and refresh for $3.99. And then my go-to moisturizing face lotion is either this one or oil of olay but i have found that this one is actually so much cheaper than oil of olay this is just 3.99 for the uh, four full ounce and it's so thick and rich so really like this one and then this one i'm almost almost out because i have i have permed my hair and i love it so what i do is when i shower at night i will add this one the hair serum onto my hair and then um, like kind of crunch it after I comb it um, I'll add this and then I kind of crunch it upwards <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense and then put my hair in a bun and the next morning my hair is still damp and it's soft not oily but just soft and then it feels like I just you know almost came out of the shower and so I really like this one I don't know how much it was I want to say it's only like three dollars three ninety nine or four dollars really really affordable um beauty products over at Trader Joe's and like I said the quality is just amazing okay and then these little ones like I said I got them they were $1.99 they came into these cute little baggies to wrap them and protect them so I took them out and then I'm just going to go ahead and add it onto my already um uh plant uh planter oh I don't know if I talked about this one it's stevia so hubby got that one for his coffee in the morning but other than that that is all the the items that I got from Trader Joe's like again if you guys have watched me for for quite a while it's just mostly the same things I do pick up new products like this one is new this one has been new this is my second time purchasing this it is amazing I love it I absolutely love this one and then I cannot wait to try that mango uh, mango black tea. As always, friends, thank you guys for visiting a Simply Simple Life. Mahalo!